All right guys, so we're checking out the Aoster Motor S07 26 inch fat tire e-bike in this video. So there's gonna be a coupon code, I think it's active in the month of December. Uh, if you wanna check out that, it's gonna be down in the video description. I believe it's $400 off the price. So this is gonna be under $1,000 for this category bike um, in terms of the power and the specs, pretty good value. So I encourage you to check out the link in the video description if you're looking for a pretty good deal, a pretty good value, 26 inch fat tire e-bike. So let's go over all the specs here. So again, 26 inch wheels. These are Chow Yang branded uh, fat tires. So we got a pretty big battery here. It's a 48 uh, volt, 13 amp hour battery. And this is, you know, kind of what I would call a classic style here with the batteries. Is, pretty it's pretty obvious that this is a e-bike you got your controller here underneath and i think it's got a heat sink here for cooling so again this is a classic look from uh, a lot of e-bikes have had this for a while got a little button here that shows you your battery level in 25 percent increments so you don't have to turn on the bike to see how much power how much uh, battery capacity you have in your battery and you have a lock here to make sure it's locked into place. Now the battery does wobble around. This is typical of this style of bike, but the advantage of uh, getting this style of battery is that there's a lot of um, third parties that make this style of battery, so you can get, probably find a replacement in case they don't sell any, but I'm pretty sure a Austin motor has a spare battery for you if you need one. All right, so here in the rear, we've got a 750 watt uh, hub motor. It does a burst to 1200 watts peak power. So this is a very powerful e-bike. For those of you that are beginners, that don't know how to ride e-bikes, I would encourage you to uh, take it easy on this one and find a nice open area because that power, I'll, I'll talk about that a little more later, is quite um, jarring, especially for those of you that have never ridden an e-bike before, so something to be aware of. But for those of you that are looking for that power and want to go 30 miles an hour, this one uh, can do it as a class three e-bike. You've got a seven speed derailleur in the back here, Shimano Turney, pretty standard stuff. Comes on a lot of e-bikes. It's also on the other side here, we've got this repute. Uh, disc brake caliper. I think this is a mechanical disc brake. The disc br uh, size in the back here isn't marked, but it looks smaller than the one in the front. And also, this was also uh, branded Repute. This one looks a little bit bigger. I think the one might be in the front might be 180, and the one in the back is 160. I'll put up on the screen what they are. I'll actually have to measure that. Uh, but yeah, these are pretty sure these are mechanical disc brakes, but the stopping power is okay for this, but because it is a pretty powerful motor, it would have been nice to see hydraulic disc brakes on this one. All right, so in the front, we do have a front fork suspension, uh, branded Zoom Forgo. I haven't seen this one before. Uh, the ride's pretty comfortable. You have your standard lockout mechanism here and preload adjustment for the tension. Uh, travel is pretty decent. I haven't had it bottom out on me yet. In the front, you got a small headlight. It is okay. This is this pretty standard in a lot of these budget class e-bikes. Uh, it'll get you by, but it would be nice to see a brighter light. And then here in the back, we have a rack. You have to install this. Uh, two screws here on each side, so four screws total. Uh, carrying capacity, they're saying about 25 kilograms here. We'll probably put a basket or a big bag in the back here to carry cargo. The overall carrying capacity of the whole bike is 300 pounds. So you do have these plastic fenders here in the back and the front. They do kind of bounce around, but they don't hit anything. So I don't hear it rattling when I'm going over bumps or anything like that. The rear one was already pre-installed. The front one was not. So you have to install that with the headlight here on this screw post. This one also bounces around, but again, it doesn't rattle because it doesn't hit anything. Um, so while it doesn't seem like it would be okay. It doesn't actually make any noise, which is fine for me. So here's a look at the handlebar. Pretty standard grips here. Uh, not very ergonomic, but it looks like it's pretty stock for a mountain bike. And you got your hand brakes here in the front. They do have the, of course, uh, the motor stopping. When you, when you activate the brake, the motor will cut off. 
Get your controller here for your display to turn the bike on and off. Standard Shimano SIS shifter. And you have a half twist throttle here. You can, it is slightly variable, you can just turn it a little bit and get partial power. Um, or turn it all the way to get full power. So go ahead and turn on the bike, just long press the M button, that'll turn it on. And I forgot to mention that there's a power switch here on the battery to turn, the, if you want to actually uh, turn the power off on the bike, uh, this will preserve the battery and won't actually have the, battery, the bike drain any of the battery power. Your charge port's right here with a small little cover. But back to the display here, you can see your it's nice and bright, uh, backlit LCD, uh, very easy to read in sunlight. You've got your pedal assist, your modes here, um, the wattage is to how much power the motor's drawing your odometer reading and mileage and your speedometer. Uh, you can use the M button to cycle through the odometer and trip meter. And then uh, the plus and minus is for the pedal assist level. So it always starts out at zero. And there's five levels of pedal assist. I believe the uh, speed rating is something like 14 miles an hour to 30 miles an hour. And they do uh, increase uh, with each level of pedal assist, but I will actually show you what that does when I'm on the bike. All right, so we'll start out in pedal assist level one and we're just gonna start off with pedaling. Motor kicks in uh, about half a crank of half a rotation of the crankshaft. And uh, we're at a steady 13 miles an hour on level one. Let's go to level two. Hopefully you can hear me over the wind noise. Level two, we're at 17 and a half miles an hour. Go to level three. All right, let's go to level four. We'll go to level five. Okay, so now we're going to just do uh, throttle only with a twist throttle, and I'm going to use full power. Uh, on level uh, one and see how fast it goes and take it from there from a stop. Here we go. Now it looks like it just gives you full power. Yeah, so the throttle gives you full power um, no matter what your pedal assist level is. So you can control the amount of throttle you have by just twisting it a little bit less. So I'm just twisting it just a little bit here and I can maintain a slower speed. So it actually kind of works like a, the accelerator on a car. Twist it more and you go faster. Okay, so this bike, it rides pretty well. Uh, the front shocks do, the, do a good job. Uh, the, obviously there's no rear shocks on this one. So uh, I did, do, you know, uh, not inflate the tires all the way to 20 pounds. It's about, I think around 15. It's a little bit less, so a little bit softer ride. Uh, but that does uh, open you up to a little bit more of a chance of um, getting a puncture on those tires. So something to be aware of, you might want to put some anti-puncture, like one of that, that goo stuff that you can put in the tires, that might help. Also with the tires at a lower inflation, that does affect your efficiency a little bit. 
Now the rated range on this battery, they're saying on the product page is about 15 to 20 miles an hour, but that's gonna, of course, totally depend on how you ride the bike and um, also the terrain that you're riding it on. Uh, let's try a little bit of off-road here. You know, this, this has plenty of power. I'm not even going full power. And it's, you can go off-road no problem through the grass. So this is a, you know, classic mountain bike style of bike. So you can definitely take it off-roading if you want, but it's gonna be versatile. You can do it on sidewalks and streets, of course, whatever you want, really. Yeah, no problem here. Yeah, that's... Anyway, that's gonna do it for this review. Check out the link in the video description as well as the coupon code and the discount. That's gonna do it for this one. Talk to you guys in the next video.